Um, so I want to um, uh, summarize a little bit what uh, biotime is. Uh, we have uh, the business of uh, using stem cells that usually are uh, derived stem cells produced by uh, differentiation. And um, the main product we are now testing is in the retina pigment epithelial cells. But um, as you see, they have other type of products. And Renivia is a hydrogel that is serving as a scaffold for stem cell insertion in cosmetic surgery. And we also have in the ophthalmology arena uh, a vision restoration program in which we are now testing 3D retina. That means uh, this is um, stem cells that produce an eye cap at about four or to six week old human retinas uh, in the embryo. And then uh, we have inserted this in mice and have been able to uh, produce um, networking or dendrites and um, synapses to the ganglion cells and we have been able to record in the superior colliculus uh, visual stimulus that were produced by human cells. Uh, on other type of things for cell delivery, we are also in the arena of uh, uh, stroke and uh, rig light for joint disease and also for arthritis, the restoration of cartilage. So, uh, in order just to go back to the uh, ophthalmology arena, Opregen is the clinical trial that we have started in Israel, and now we are starting just to open sites in the U.S. to complete the third and fourth cohort that we have designed. As you know, in geographic atrophy, we have a loss of uh, photoreceptors and RPE cells that uh, are the main reason for uh, vision loss. Opregen then becomes like an insertion of cells in the subretinal space and can be probably uh, accepted as an uh, implant or a tissue that will recover the functions of the cells that are missing. So if we see the evolution of the dry AMD, uh, we start with the main problem of the accumulation of lipid deposits called drusen that then lead to the atrophy of the RP cells and subsequently the photoreceptors. So in the lower right, uh, you can see the uh, injection now of uh, the suspension of RP cells and then the restoration of the RP cells in the left that will eventually re become as a uh, restoration of vision. So here we have some animal uh, testing that we have done. In the left, we have the uh, right bars that corresponds to the three different types of concentration of cells. And we can see that the recovery of cones uh, becomes significant uh, throughout time in the life of these uh, mice. And on the right, we have a, fu a visual function test in these animals in which we can see that in the circles, uh, the three on the right, corresponds to the mid and uh, high concentration of cells that uh, produce a survival of uh, this vision throughout a longer time. So now I want to introduce you to the operation trial. We have started with the first cohort with 50,000 cells. Uh, the cells were uh, in uh, a 100 microliter injection in the subretinal space usually located in the upper side of the um, uh, geographic atrophy. Cohort two uh, was followed actually with a 200,000 uh, cells injected with the same volume. And we have completed that and now we are moving into cohort three, which uh, will be uh, informative to the, from the other two. We are uh, going to inject now a smaller volume to allow microperimetry testing to search in a very defined area. And then a cohort four is going to be informed by cohort three in which we can probably extend this to a larger population and with better vision. So uh, this is a summary, unfortunately, uh, the, 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 it's very small, but shows that all the cells engrafted and that uh, here we show some of the examples with 50,000 cells. You can notice in the lower images, the decrease in the hyperfluorescence. This is the bleb, 
and 200,000 cells, and we can see the cell engraftment in an area that was missing. And uh, these are the milestones that we are proposing for the end of the year, in which we complete the cohort three, and we are going to start cohort four by the uh, end of the year. So thank you so much. I appreciate it.